Macklin's not going to pack it in and lay down. Golovkin's going to have to do what he has to do like that to get Body Macklin out of here. Puts Macklin down. Four, down twice five, against Sergio Martinez. Six, May not seven, be able to get up from this. Eight, Probably nine, can't. That's it. And that'll be the 14th consecutive knockout for Gennady Golovkin. It comes in the third round. And look, Macklin's style, he's not a slick guy. He's there to be hit. Lower body. Take another look, Andre. Set him up with the right uppercut. Didn't want to hit him with it because he really wanted the big left hook to the body. Landed right on the money. And you don't recover from that in 10 seconds. As you see, Macklin is still on the ground right now. The way it's been described, described to me by fighters, Andre, it's like an electric jolt to the system which basically disconnects everything from the waist down. Yeah, it's hard to breathe. It's almost like you're being suffocated until you slowly get your breath back. And again, that takes a... to being a champion of the world and cementing it with that sort of display. Absolutely great performance there. And unfortunately for Roman Gonzalez, and we say it here... And that sole reversal, losing a majority decision against the <laughs> Russian world. A one-two combination when the fight was still in its nascent stages was all she wrote. And Peano's eyes were in orbit. Spinning like the reels on a fruit machine when that right hand landed. There's the jab, there's the right hand, and everything was short-circuited. Peano on the canvas, out of the fight, and out of the World Boxing Super Series. Can he beat the count? Oh, is that it? And Kenny Bella says, no way. That is that. What an amazing knockout shot. That is the most spectacular one-punch shot of Manny Pacquiao's incredible Morales. <clears throat> Take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is a perfect time. That was super slow yeah. motion. Yeah, and he never saw him. Timed him coming in. Yeah. It's the first time he's knocked out somebody like this since he was at 130 pounds. And Hatton's head hit the...